Wood table is a basic crafting station that by default you will already have. In case you don't have it or want to build another one, you have to interact with an assembly station. To craft it, you will need two copper screws, six stone and eight wood. Speaking about the copper screws that is the first ingredient, the easier way to obtain it is by going to the top right side from your workshop, where you will find a hammer time building. Interacting with the cash desk you will find here, you will be able to buy up to 5 copper screws each day for a price of 19 gold each. In case you want to avoid spending your gold, interact with the grinder in your workshop, where you will find a recipe that will allow you to convert one copper bar into two copper screws. To farm the copper bars you need for this recipe, the easier way to obtain it is by going to the shop called Hammer Time. From here you will be able to buy up to 20 copper bars each day for a price of 26 gold each. In case you don't want to buy it, go to the bottom right side from your workshop where you will be able to access the Ufala Salvage uh, Junkyard. Initially here you will find some mixed junk piles. Mining those will reward you with some copper scraps. That next, by placing them inside the recycler you have a high chance to find some copper bars. Progressing in the storyline, inside the junkyard will appear also some metal junk piles. That besides some copper scraps will also drop directly the copper bars as well. Near the junkyard you also will find the Eufala Salvage Shop, from where you will be able to buy 10 copper scraps each day for a price of 25 gold each. While to obtain the copper scraps passively, you have to progress in the storyline until you will unlock a mine quest called Keep on the Rockin. After you will be able to complete this quest, in the central part of the Ufala Salvage Shop you will be able to interact with the desk. This will allow you to access the supply delivery. This will allow you to buy and upgrade the contract. That every day will deliver in the box that will appear near your mailbox some copper scraps with other materials. There is also another important method in order to obtain the copper bars. To do so, you have to interact with a furnace that will allow you to convert free copper ore into one copper bar. For the copper ore itself, you won't be able to farm it until you will reach a quest that will require from you to build a crane lift, that next you can use in order to reach the abandoned ruins. In this dungeon, you will find several copper nodes you will be able to mine in order to obtain the copper ore. Occasionally, you will get it also by mining the terrain. In alternative, if you want to save your stamina or obtain the copper ore before this mine quest, you can reach the Eufala Salvage Shop. Here you will be able to buy up to 50 copper ore each day for a price of 4 gold each. Speaking about the stone, that is the second ingredient, early game, around your workshop you will find some junk piles, stone piles and wood piles that will yield you some stones. In order to be able to obtain stone more efficiently, you will need to obtain a stone pick hammer. Thanks to it, you will be able to mine some gravel, that will give you a good amount of stone. It can be also used to mine stone scraps. Those will reward you not only with some stone, but also with some stone scraps. The last one can be placed inside your recycler in order to obtain, with a high probability, some stone. For the next method, reach the abandoned ruins. Inside these dungeons, you will be able to mine the terrain that have a good chance to give you some stone as well. For the most efficient way to obtain the stone, you will need first to craft a bronze pick hammer. Thanks to it, you will be able to mine the hard rocks and monuments you will find around your base. By mining those, you will obtain a huge amount of stones compared to the previous methods. After you will obtain a weapon, you also will be able to collect some stones by defeating some roosters. Well, in case you want to save your stamina and obtain a large amount of stones, visit the bottom right shop called Eufala Salvage. Here, in the right corner of the room, you will find a cash desk you have to interact with, where you will be able to buy up to 100 stones each day for a price of 4 gold each. If you want to buy more, you have to visit the Commerce Guild in the bottom right side of the city, where immediately to the right you will find another cash desk. Interacting with it, you will be able to buy an extra 100 stones each day. 
For the last location, you have to move in the central part of the city, where you will need to visit the construction junction shop. Immediately after entering it, you will be able to find the cash desk on the right side. Similarly to the previous two, here you will be able to buy up to 100 stones each day as well. Time to speak about the wood that is the third and last ingredient. Early game, before you will craft your first tools, you will be able to obtain wood by gathering the wood piles. In alternative, if you want to save your stamina, run through a tumbleweed. Doing so, it will take damage and after a while it will be destroyed. As a reward, you will receive some wood. For the next method, you have to craft the stone axe. Then find some bushes called the Yaktorn and sand flowers. Chopping them down will give you a decent amount of wood. For a larger amount of wood, you have to chop down the cactuses. If you will do it the first time, Burgess will tell you that you cannot continue doing this. If you won't listen to him and continue chopping down cactuses and the other NPCs will be close to your location, they will run toward you and you will lose some reputation with these NPCs. Some of them will be able even to find you for a good amount of gold. A little note, by chopping down the smaller cactuses you will obtain also some wood, but you won't risk any consequences. Also, proceeding further in the main storyline and rebuilding the bridge will allow you to access a new biome, where you also will find some cactuses that this time you will be able to chop down without any consequences. For the next method, you will need to have a recycler. To obtain some wood, you can place inside it some wood scraps. To obtain them, just find the wooden scraps around your workshop that you can collect using your axe. Occasionally, you will obtain from them directly the wood as well. If you want to save your stamina and obtain a good amount of wood, visit the Water World shop located in the top left side of the oasis of the city. Here you will be able to buy up to 100 wood for a price of 6 gold each. For the most efficient way, you have to obtain the bronze axe. It will allow you to chop down the dead wood trees. You are allowed to do so without risking to lose any gold or reputation. For the last efficient way to obtain wood, you have to proceed in the storyline until you will repair the hydrogel. The next day, inside the Eufala salvage located to the bottom right side from your workshop, occasionally you will find the wooden junk pile inside that you will be able to dismantle. Doing so will give you a good amount of wood, wood scraps, fine wood scraps and hardwood.